Ramadan Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness Ramadan Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Anbiya wal Mursaleen Amma ba'd فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله صلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers of Madani Channel You are watching an episode of the series The Virtues of Ramadan Let's start our episode by listening to an excellence of reciting صلاة على النبي صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم the beloved and blessed Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated, whoever recites salat upon me on the day of Friday, I will intercede for him on the day of judgment. Subhanallah azza wa jal, sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated, niyatul mu'mini khayrun min amali. That is the intention of a believer is better than his action. Dear viewers of Madani channel, always remember two Madani pearls. Firstly, without a good intention, no reward is granted for a good deed. Secondly, the more righteous intentions one makes, the greater reward he will attain. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Therefore, let's make some good intentions before listening to this episode. Firstly, make the good intention that you will listen to this episode to gain the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. You will listen to this episode till the very end. Whenever you hear Sallu Al Habib, you will say Sallallahu Ala Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. Sallu Al Habib Sallallahu Taala Ala Muhammad Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, Insha Allah Azza in today's episode, we will listen to the virtues and blessings of the great personality who has attained great status and rank. For the sake of our beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. That great personality is the fourth Khalifa. The door of the city of knowledge. Amin al-Mu'mineen. Sayyidina Ali al-Murtaza. Shere Khuda. Karram Allahu ta'ala. Wajhahu al-Kareem. Let's listen to a parable. Once Amin al-Mu'mineen. Sayyidina Ali al-Murtaza. Karram Allahu ta'ala. Wajhahu al-Kareem. Was present in the blessed haram of Kaaba. With both of his sons. Sayyidina Imam Hassan. And Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. Noticing that a person was making dua in tears for his need in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal. Sayyidina Ali karram Allahu ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem ordered to bring the person to him. Since one side of his body was paralyzed, he dragged his legs while walking and came to him. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked what had happened to him. The person humbly replied, O Amir al I was extremely fearless in committing sins and my father who was a righteous and pious Muslim would repeatedly check me and prevent me from committing sins. One day my anger boiled up while he was advising me and I beat my father up. Due to being beaten by me, he grew sad and came to me and made dua against me. All of a sudden, I was under his curse and one side of my body got paralyzed and I started walking by dragging my feet. This ghaibi punishment taught me a good lesson and I apologized to my father in flood of tears. Overcame by fatherly love, he had pity on me and forgave me. He then said to me, My son, accompany me. I will make dua for your health exactly at the same place where I cursed you. Hence, we were coming to Makkah, Zadahullahu Sharafan wa Ta'zima, on a she camel. On the way, suddenly it got scared and ran, and my father fell over between two rocks and passed away. Now, I have come here alone to Haram e Kaaba, and I am making dua in all tears to Allah. Amir al Mu'mineen, Sayyidina Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhahu al Kareem had pity on him and said, O person, 
if your father had been very pleased with you, be relaxed. Inshallah Azza wa Jal, everything will get better. Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu Ta'ala Wajhaul Kareem then offered a few rakats of salah and made dua for him and then said, Qum, that is stand up. Listening to this, he stood up without any trouble and started walking. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, Kyu na mushkil kusha kahu tumko? Kyu na mushkil kusha kahu tumko? Tumne bigri meri banai hai. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, dear viewers of Madani channel, this parable contains countless Madani pearls for admonition for us as to how terrible punishment that person incurred upon due to disobedience of parents. Further, it has also been understood that we should not disobey our parents and should carry out their orders immediately within the boundaries of Sharia, of course. We should also protect ourselves from their curse and abstain from every such act that incurs their displeasure. From this parable, we have also learned the saintly miracle of Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu Ta'ala Wajhahul Kareem that when he radiallahu ta'ala anhu made dua for that person in divine court, his blessed dua was answered immediately and the paralytic person who was dragging his legs while walking recovered on spot by virtue of the blessings of the dua made by Sayyidina Ali karamallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem and he started walking without any trouble. Be sabab bakshish ho meri, ye dua farmaiye. Mustafa ka wasata, Mawla Ali Mushkil Kusha, Sallu ala al-Habib, Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, today is the 20th of Ramadan. We are listening to the blessings of Mawla Ali Mushkil Kusha, Karram Allah ta'ala wa jahul kareem. Inshallah, in tomorrow's episode, this topic will be continued. Dear viewers of Madani channel, the virtues and miracles of Amir al-Mu'mineen Sayyidina Ali Karramallahu Ta'ala Wajhahu Al-Kareem are really great and beyond description. His blessed glory is unique and unparalleled. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a great leader, lover of the hereafter, beloved of Allah Azza wa Jal, the door of the city of knowledge and an orator who had expertise in extracting the rulings from the Holy Quran and Sunnah. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a guiding light for the obedient and a friend for the pious. He was a leader for those who promote justice and the most outstanding quality is that he radiallahu ta'ala anhu was very tolerant and learned. Amir al sunnat Damad Barakatum al in his booklet karamat e shere khuda has given an introduction of Mawla Ali Mushkil Kusha karam Allah ta'ala wajhahu al kareem and a part of it is he radiallahu ta'ala anhu enjoys a very distinguished reputation because of being amongst the muhajireen awwaleen and the ashrai mubashara and possesses many other special ranks he radiallahu ta'ala anhu took part with bravery in the battles of badr battle of uhud and khandak and killed many renowned and brave warriors of the kuffar through his massive strikes Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. After the martyrdom of Amin al-Mu'mineen, Sayyidina Usman Ghani radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the Ansar and Muhajireen gave their vote of confidence to Sayyidina Ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al-Kareem and elected him as Amin al-Mu'mineen. He held the office for four years, eight months and nine days. On the 17th or 19th of Ramadan al-Mubarak, he radiallahu ta'ala anhu was seriously wounded by a murder attempt. And on the 21st of Ramadan al-Mubarak, he radiallahu ta'ala anhu passed away as a martyr. Sayyidina Ali karamallahu ta'ala wajhahu al-Kareem was neither very tall nor very short, but rather he was of medium height. His eyes were big and his blessed face was extremely beautiful, just like that of the full moon. There was a distance between both his shoulders. His palms and bones of his shoulders were heavy and his blessed neck was beautiful. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu did not have hair on the front part of his blessed head, 
but rather he radiallahu ta'ala anhu had hair on the back part of his head. His blessed beard was thick and each hair was naturally dark without a hair dye. His hands and arms were very strong. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, dear viewers of Madani channel, if we look at the childhood of Sayyidina Ali Karramallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem, we find it matchless and unparalleled too. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu remained constantly in the blessed company of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and from his childhood he received tarbiyat from the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam bore his expenses. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu embraced Islam in his childhood. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu took active part in calling towards righteousness at a very young age and the troubles which came across in this way became the part of his learning. Let's listen to one of his beautiful parts of his blessed childhood. His mother, Sayyidatuna Fatima bint Asad radiallahu ta'ala anha has stated, when Amir al-Mu'mineen Sayyidina Ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem was born, the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam named him Ali, put his blessed saliva in his mouth and put his blessed tongue into his mouth for blessings and he karramallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem fell asleep in the same state. Subhanallah azza wa jal. Next day, we called a midwife to breastfeed him but he karramallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem did not take the milk. When this news reached the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, he sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam came and put his blessed tongue into Sayyidina Ali's mouth while gaining blessings from the blessed tongue, he karamallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem fell asleep. Hence, it continued until Allah azza wa willed. Dear viewers of Madani channel, have you noticed the glory of Sayyidina Ali al-Murtaza Shere Khuda Karam Allahu Ta'ala Wajhahul Kareem that the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alihi Wa Alihi Wasallam himself is bestowing him by putting his blessed tongue into his mouth. Subhanallah Azza wa On different occasions, Allah Azza wa has also revealed blessed ayahs to mention the greatness and glory of Sayyidina Ali Karam Allahu Ta'ala Wajhahul Kareem and his blessed personality. In Ayah 4 of Surah Tahreem, Part 28, Allah Azza wa has said, Translation of Quran, Kanzul Iman, Allah is his helper and Jibra'il and the righteous believers and furthermore, the angels are appointed as helpers. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Regarding the commentary of this ayah, Allama Sayyid Mahmood Baghdadi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi has stated, Sayyidina Asma bint Umais radiallahu ta'ala anha has heard the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa saying, righteous believers mean Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem. Similarly, Sayyidina Abu Ja'far radiallahu ta'ala anhu is narrated, when this blessed ayah was revealed, the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam held the hand of Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem and said, O oh people, Sayyidina Ali is a righteous believer amongst believers. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Maulana Sayyid Muhammad Naimuddin Muradabadi rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi stated, When wealthy people prolong the act of asking questions in the blessed court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, and as a result, the poor got little time to submit their request in the blessed court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, then divine commandment of giving sadqa before submitting requests was revealed. And Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem acted upon this commandment. He, after paying one dinar in sadqa, asked about some rulings. Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, what is loyalty? The beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam replied, Tawheed, that is the oneness of Allah azza wa jal, and testifying the oneness of Allah azza wa jal. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked, what is fasad? The beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam replied, unbelief and shirk. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked, what is truth? The beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam replied, when you get Islam, Quran and wilayat. 
he radiallahu ta'ala and who asked what is compulsory for me the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam replied obedience to allah azza wa jal and his beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam sayyiduna ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem further asked how should i make dua to allah azza wa jal the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam replied with absolute trust and belief he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu asked what should i ask for the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam replied the hereafter he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu asked what should i do for my salvation the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam replied eat halal and speak the truth he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu asked what is pleasure the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam replied paradise he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu asked what is comfort the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam replied blessed sight of allah azza wa jal when sayyidina ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al kareem finished his questions the time of this commandment ended and then everyone was allowed to ask questions without paying any sadqa no one else except sayyidina ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al kareem got the time to act upon this blessed aya the blessed aya is as follows translation of quran kanzul iman o people who believe when you wish to humbly consult the noble messenger give some charity before you consult dear viewers of madani channel we have heard the glory and eminence of sayyidina ali karimallahu ta'ala wajhahu kareem from blessed ayahs of the holy quran besides this the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam has stated his glory and eminence in many blessed ahadith let's listen to some blessed ahadith the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam has said to sayyidina ali karimallahu ta'ala wajhahu kareem you are to me as was the status of harun ala nabina wa alihi salatu wassalam in the sight of musa ala nabina wa alihi salatu wassalam and there is no nabi after me the holy rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam has stated ali's relation to me is like the relation of my head to my body subhanallah azza wa jal lastly the holy prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam has stated i am the home of wisdom and ali is its door subhanallah azza wa jal dear viewers of madani channel have you noticed how beautifully our beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam mentioned the glory of sayyidina ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al kareem apart from these favors and saintly miracles allah azza wa jal bestowed countless virtues upon him sayyidina abdullah bin mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu has stated undoubtedly the holy quran was revealed in seven dialects every one of them has its apparent and hidden meaning amir al mu'minin sayyidina ali al murtaza shere khuda karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al kareem is such a scholar who possesses both apparent and hidden knowledge subhanallah azza wa jal similarly amir al mu'minin sayyidina umar faruq azam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu stated sayyidina ali al murtaza karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al kareem possesses three such virtues that if i were blessed with even one of them it would be more beloved to me than red camels the blessed companions radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in then asked about the three virtues he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said number 1 the beloved rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam married his daughter sayyiduna fatima az zahra radiyallahu ta'ala anha to sayyiduna ali karimallahu ta'ala wajhahu al kareem subhanallah azza wa jal secondly he radiyallahu ta'ala anhu was living with the blessed rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam in masjid an nabawi and for him those things were also halal in the masjid which are only specific to him number 3 the flag of islam was given to him in the battle of khaybar sayyidina faruq azam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu stated sayyidina ali karimallahu ta'ala wajhahu al kareem is the best judge amongst us and sayyidina ubay bin ka'ab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu is the best reciter of the holy quran amongst us subhanallah azza wa jalla sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam dear viewers of madani channel subhanallah azza wa jal how majestic is the eminence of amir al mu'minin sayyidina ali al murtaza shere khuda karimallahu ta'ala wajhahu al kareem 
that Amir al muminin Sayyidina Umar Farooq Azam radiallahu ta'ala anhu also felt envy at his attributes. Here it is necessary to mention one ruling that there is an order of Khulafai Rashidin in the sight of rightly guided Ahl Sunnah school of thought with respect to superiority and rank. Talking about this, Mufti Muhammad Amjad Ali Azami rahmatullahi ta'ala has said, all the blessed companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een are Jannah dwellers. After the Anbiya and Mursaleen, Siddiq Akbar, then Umar Farooq Azam, then Usman Ghani, and then Sayyidina Ali karamallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem are superior in this order to all the creatures of Allah Azza wa such as human beings, jinns, and angels. Superior here means that being more respectable and having a higher status in the court of Allah Azza wa Dear viewers of Madani channel, undoubtedly all Khulafai Rashidin were dearest and beloved to the blessed Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and he Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam has stated the virtues of all of them. The great scholar of Islamic jurisprudence Sayyidina Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala and who has narrated the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said I am the city of knowledge Abu Bakr is its foundation Umar is its wall Usman is its roof and Ali is its door Subhanallah azza wa jal Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Dear viewers of Madani channel Amin al Mu'mineen. Sayyidina Ali al-Murtaza karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem has said, after the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, Abu Bakr and Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma are better than all. He added, love for me and hatred towards Abu Bakr and Umar cannot gather in the heart of any believer. Allahu Akbar kabira subhanallah azza wa jal. It means that Sayyidina Ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem is himself stating that if anyone claims to love me, he will have to love the Shaykhane Kareem. And that is Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Sayyidina Umar Farooq Azam radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Otherwise, my love will bring no benefit for him. Shaykh Tariqat, Amir Ayla Sunnat, Mawlana Ilyas Attar Qadri, Damad Barakatum al Aliyah has beautifully stated the eminence of Sayyidina Ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem in the form of a couplet. Ba'de Khulafai Salasa. Sab sahaba se bada Baad e khulafai salasa Sab sahaba se bada Aap ko rudba mila Mawla Ali mushkil kusha Sallu ala al-habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Dear viewers of Madani channel Alhamdulillahi azza wa jal In this episode We heard different virtues of Mawla Ali mushkil kusha Karram Allah ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem Inshallah, in tomorrow's episode, we will continue the same topic and try to learn more about the blessed personality of Sayyidina Ali Karamallahu Ta'ala Wajahul Kareem. May Allah enable us to have love and respect for all Khalifas and all the blessed companions. Radiallahu Ta'ala and Humajma'een. Ameen. Bijahid Nabi Labeen, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alihi wa Alihi wa Sallam. Keep watching Madani channel. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Ramadan, Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness. Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness. Ramadan.